It's weekly news about the church. There will be the 14th anniversary service of a Sarang Mamin church and the elder in new inauguration ceremony led by the pastor Jin Sam Jin Bam Sa. In this creep of a moving, it's upon us when we see Mother Nature. Water making majestic sounds. Sunlight scattering like jewels. Countless stars are shining from their respective positions. And the moon that becomes more nostalgic the more you look at it. We are living alongside the beautiful creations that God has made. Among all the things Father God has created, the most beautiful one is us, the human. Today's a story about senior deaconess Ak Sun Jan, who was healed from the facial paralysis and recovered her face, and run more fervently with a desperate hope for heaven. Hi, I'm Senior Deaconess Ok Sun Jan at District 2, Parish 1. I registered Memmin Church on August 19, 1989. I lived without any hope, and I didn't know why to live before knowing Father God. So I earnestly seek God, and sometimes I felt like I, I didn't know what to do. Then I look up at the star, sky, praying, please meet me if you're alive. I finally met him at the Mammon Church. My heart was full of the hatred and blamed others in the past. However, everything bad is in my heart felt like a fading away, and I also felt refreshed that, uh, as if I had tasted mint flavor. I began my faith life with the hope of being changed listening to sermon. There's the best of The life was filled, uh, filled with joy and all darkness in uh, her heart seems to gone after meeting Father God here. There's the best curious thing is the power of God that senior pastor shows. The power of God through a senior pastor overwhelmed me. I could not help but saying, wow, it's uh, mysterious, wow, great. And one day I had a chance to experience the power. I suffered from the being cold. It didn't work to cover a couple of blankets. I just had to stain the blanket all over. When I stared at the phone, it reminded me of a pray for the sick and a dialed number to contact the service of a senior pastor's recorded prayer for the sick. After the prayer, I didn't feel cold anymore. This time, I, I've just lived without any concern around my circumstances. This time, I also experienced the power is so marvelous. It happens to her unexpectedly on March 2, 2023. I was about to work, then tears ran down from my left eye. It was not a normal tear dropping. It ran down like a tap water. What made me shed tears? It's weird, I thought. I had to wipe the tears several times during the work. And then, whenever I opened the mouth, my lips twisted to the left side the next day. 
When I saw it, her left eye seems to be uh, pulled to one side, not fully opening and slightly drooping downwards. Her face was uh, twisted so far when my looking at the picture on the phone she showed. Oh no, I have to figure out what happened, what, what's happening to me. I thought and visited an ophthalmic clinic. A nurse said that your left eye lid doesn't work. It doesn't work? I was shocked. I didn't know my eye lid uh, hadn't worked, just wiping out tears running. Facial paralysis refers to uh, paralysis of the facial muscles caused by the damage or abnormalities in the facial nerve. It can result in the complications such as dry eyes, inflammation, and uh, in a severe cases, it can lead to cataract blindness. I didn't know what to do when she said my case was urgent seriously. I looked back on myself at home. I thought there would be a absolute reason uh, why I had this symptom. There isn't anything accidental to Father God. Father God who loves me may be stepping my walking on the way of, of a face, I thought. My thought was a straight n o p that it was, it was all up to the Father God. I made my mind that I would depend on Father God like I'd been healed by prayer of a senior pastor. I decided to ask him for help. And something came to my mind. I was deeply worried about the changed circumstances around me last year. I felt quite pain during the time. That was anxiety. The anxiety pulled more something from my heart I didn't know. It was about the feeling unjust, upset, and discouraged. I found, I found bad feelings in me when praying at the prayer meeting for the sick and the Daniel prayer meeting led by Mrs. Lee. Nobody has comforted me saying, you've done well in your life. I was sorry about that, and I thought oh, it would be really nice if someone could say one comforting word to me. I don't usually think that way. I was caught by the surprise that I had a feeling such like that. I didn't know they were embedded in me. This time, Father God pulled out the feelings hidden me, deep hurt, and let me pray to cast them away. I was so happy that Father God allowed me to find them and uh, help me get rid of them. If I had had facial uh, paralysis in the past, I would have been uh, disappointed at myself, saying, what evil in me made it have this symptom? However, this time it was the opposite. It was never discouraged when knowing I had a facial paralysis rather than I felt it like a soft loving coming to me. As soon as I felt His love, I pulled my eyes out and the fool repented that I didn't follow the words of a life and the l e a Uh, lived as a priest. Fearing God and keeping His commandment is the whole duty of a man, but I was reluctant to get rid of a evil. How can I go to New Jerusalem holding this fleshly nature in my heart? Um, first, I really appreciate the Godfather's guidance uh, lent me found myself. Also, I was so sorry when I was thinking of a senior pastor who taught me how to live by the words of God for a few decades. Hallelujah, Almighty God, our loving Father, please lay your hands on all, on all believers who are receiving this prayer now. Show your works that transcend the time and the space on those who are receiving this prayer. I got the recorded prayer for the sake of a senior pastor just desperately. I got a marvelous experience during the time. I heard a specific phrase from his prayer. All kinds of a para- uh, paralysis be loosened. All kinds of a paralysis be loosened. Get up, walk, and leap. That part was so catchy. I'd never heard that part before. The part that referred to my problem was the point to me. Then I felt that better next day, Monday, after getting the prayer. 
I was supposed to visit the clinic to check it up on Tuesday, but I was healed on Monday. So I was healed from the facial paralysis in the 12 days. I canceled all the hospital treatments. I didn't need them anymore because I was totally recovered. What about your eyes? I can blink my eyes. They are perfect. Thank you for asking. Now she's more faithful to fulfill her duties in the Lord. I didn't feel well a few days ago. She provided food like a side of dishes and so on. I was so touched. She cares of the members with her hearts as well as me. She's a great helper to us. The Lord who knows me better than myself, so He knows what I have to feel more, waiting for, waiting for me being qualified. What I was impressed about the senior pastors it is that He cherishes each one soul. Even the soul is the little kid, He respects and cherishes the soul with all His heart. I made my mind that I should have to emulate His mind. Through this experience about being healed, I realized that I didn't have other feel touched. God is a father. God ends up the touching soul. That point was I had to practice and pray more. Uh, taking this opportunity, Father God came and met me who didn't know where I was from and where I had to heal for. Thanks, Father God, for having me accept the Lord, heal me, and save me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.